One of the things that sets the best players apart from the rest is good movement. Without learning the basics of movement, you can never truly become a good player in this game and you might even fail to defeat lower level enemies. On the contrary, good movement can allow you to defeat stronger enemies who are at a higher level than you. That is why in this video, I have decided to explain in detail all the basics and fundamentals of movement in Bullet Echo. And without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. First of all, there is two main types of movement. You have range moderation and evasive movement. Let me explain each of these in detail, starting off with evasive movement. Evasive movement is the kind of movement that you need to use in order to avoid taking a lot of damage during battle, and this allows you to have a higher chance of winning most battles. This kind of movement is also important in situations where you have to get away from an enemy or when you use heroes that have a very narrow field of vision. Evasive movement can further be categorized into four different aspects. The first one is called the rotational maneuver. With this kind of movement, you basically tend to move around the enemy as you shoot, and it works even better if you're using a first character. Such heroes include Mirage, Dragoon, and all the SMG characters, but you can also attempt it on any hero that is not too slow. The second aspect of evasive movement is shifting side to side while shooting at the target to dodge some of their shots. This particular type of movement works especially for a hero like Mirage, but you can also use it for other heroes who are relatively fast and accurate. Healing while you do this gives you an even higher chance at winning the battle. For the third evasive movement technique in this video, we have cover utilization. This type of movement involves alternating between attacking the enemy and taking cover. Do this repeatedly until the enemy is destroyed. It can really save you against heroes who have a very high fire rate, for example Firefly and Satoshi. And it can also help you defeat heroes that have a lot of health. And the fourth type of evasive movement is referred to as a zigzag run. This involves simply running in a zigzag pattern to prevent enemy bullets from hitting you frequently. Use this method to get away from gunfights, especially with the SMG characters, and it works very well on these heroes just because of how small and fast they are. All the four movement techniques we have discussed so far in this video fall under evasive movement. Now, the second major type of movement is called range moderation, and this involves managing the distance between you and the enemy during battle with the aim of ensuring both your survival and the destruction of the enemy. Range moderation can further be categorized into two main areas, that is shield discipline and distance control. Shield discipline basically means that you use your shield in such a way that prevents the enemy from going through it and making direct contact with your body. Most new players tend not to realize that most enemies can still shoot you if you get too close, even if you're using a shield. You basically render your shield useless. So the best solution to this is to move backwards if necessary and always retreat while reloading. The second kind of range moderation is called distance control, and this is very important for heroes like Cyclops, Raven, and Levi. These heroes either increase their aimed range or reduce the enemy aimed range during battle, and this means all you have to do is keep your distance from the enemy, which will allow you to destroy them while they cannot do any damage to you. Moving backwards also works well in this case, just make sure you're still close enough to shoot. Which other movement techniques do you know about? Let us know below in the comment section. And if this video was helpful, here is a few other videos you might like.